Hey the Berries, welcome to episode 131. We are on the promotion series to Diamond. I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, at the end of this series. And we played Soraka in the last game, so we can't play her for this promotion. Uh, there's a Jinx and a Seraphine in the bot lane. A lot of Seraphine's been played lately. I'm kind of eyeing up something like a Blitzcrank. That could be quite nice. Although grabbing some of those champions wouldn't be too fun for our team, I don't think. But I kind of want to check out the Blitzcrank bus. Probably not necessarily the best time to be doing it during um, placement, not placements, promotion series. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. If I grab either the Seraphine or Jinx, they're going to be pretty squishy. Um, my ulti will get rid of like the Seraphine shield if it's quite big later on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Our team's okay. I don't like the Nasus top. I don't think Nasus is performing too well at the moment. I think the rest of the picks are fine. Viego kind of busted. I usually ban him. Um, so as long as the Viego can play Viego properly, we should be okay. Oh no, it's Ocean Song Seraphine. Uh oh. All right, let's have a look at the Power Fest stats. Are we ha ha also hard counters Nasus? Yeah, he's not going to have fun up there. So the Seraphine has Aggressive Lena, Seraphine Lover, Blitzcrank Stomper. Uh oh, did I screw myself here? Good Vision, Auto Field? Question mark. 30 games played on the Seraphine, 60% win rate. Swain, 50%. Hecarim looks pretty decent. My Valkos looks alright. My AD carry is not looking too great. 47% win rate, 122 games played. Caitlyn one trick, but not doing too hot lately. Over a million mastery points on Caitlyn. Two, two million mastery points on Caitlyn. And she's below 50% win rate, that's kind of sad to see. Um, but hopefully she's just had unlucky games and that her mechanics are still going to be good. I mean, how hard can it be to put down a trap, right, guys? Right? <laughs> huh. We'll see, I guess. Um, we'll be able to roam, potentially, towards mid lane, too. Um, we can always leave Caitlyn down here, generally safely bot lane, if we want to roam, which we'll, we'll try and do. We'll try and do something like that. Just trying to work out what... If I want Relic, or if I want Steel Shoulder Guards. I think we'll do Relic. Not sure how often we're gonna get uh, auto attack and stuff. If there was like um like a melee tank, like a Leona or something, we'd be able to do more autos, I think. Could have been fun if we got that. So there's always a chance that they walk past after doing um, red buff. <laughs> Imagine if they come through the tri brush, the whole enemy team would be so screwed. They might not walk through. Ready, aim. <gasps> Why am I not surprised? I'm thinking they're not gonna walk through. Yeah, they didn't walk through. It's gonna be tough using my Reddit Shield stacks against this composition because I will get poked down quite a lot. My Seraphine's already used. Her double E charge there. I don't think it's a good idea to start E on Seraphine personally. Okay. That's really good. She did a good Q there too. 
Wait, what? Free trap shot. I've got a hex tech flash. Jinx has no health potions. I've got a decent lane advantage here. Yeah, there's a ward in this brush. Why? Why? Oh my god, I actually knocked up the um, the ward that got placed there. She would have got away still there though, but... The only summoner they got down here now is Flash. On Seraphine... <gasps> Into the trap! Oh my god, that was so good! Mum, get the camera! Oh my god! Let's go. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah, my bad on the knock up on the ward though. I don't know if that was intentional or not by the Seraphine, but or whoever did that. That was I don't think I've seen that before. It did kind of troll me a little bit. But yeah, really, really, really good start. Viego got both kills, though. Which obviously is good for him, but in terms of bot lane momentum, it does, doesn't does increase our momentum as much as I would like it to. But having, like, a little bit extra AD on the Caitlyn would have been awesome just to continue snowboarding down here in the 2v2. That's why sometimes you do minion dematerializer <laughs> on tank supports. Um, so you don't know, get harassed down when you're taking these kind of minions, because that was kind of spicy right there. Can, I want Caitlyn to auto attack these minions more so that I can go in. If I go in, it's, we're going to be tanking a lot. It's okay. Jinx missed that on the melee minion. Just got brush pressure that this casting minion is going to die as well. Hecarim's bot side, he's at chickens. I messed up. I meant to do like level Q and then press W straight away, but I leveled W instead. It's not the end of the world, but it just mean I go a little bit faster. Okay. So another exhaust used there by Seraphine. Did I got another trap kill? <laughs> no, I died though. A Seraphine got the kill? Okay, it's not that bad then. I need to do boots of swiftness. Brrr. Yeah, they buffed Blitzcrank's Q damage and his passive, I think it was. Was it his passive ult damage or was it his ult? No, it was his ult damage, the trigger ult. Can't remember the exact numbers, but it was a nice little amount, extra amount. Rare. Nice, pretty solid start so far. Caitlyn got this kill this time, so she should better buy something. Nice. Pickaxe. Dagger. No, she sold a dagger. She bought a control ward. She bought a control ward, guys. That never happens. What? An AD carry buying control wards? Holy moly, dude. Is this actually League of Legends that we're playing right now?
I swear I'm not paying off this AD carry. Haven't had that much incentive to roam just because of how well we've been doing down here. Right, this might be a little bit risky to do, but we do it. Seraphine mid. I'm going to try and rotate up. Velkoz does have flash, but... Viego... No. There's nothing I can do here. Crap. Yeah, I think the Velkoz should have just flashed towards his turret straight away there. I'm not sure why he hesitated for such a long time. I'm going to wait to see if Seraphine walks past this dry brush. Yoink. Oh, Golux. <laughs> oh, I found a horse. Hmm. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Diego, ulti, Jinx flash, ah, Jinx heal, can now turn into pow pow, Seraphine flash, nice, Ooh. good job. Alright, play it there. I'll let the Caitlyn have solo. Oh, I thought it was out of range. It's gonna give us solo gold now. Yeah, Diego's getting pretty fed now. Nessus isn't doing too bad top, he's only 20 CS behind. Hecarim's top. Yeah, I'm put an aggressive control down I think here as opposed to defensive. It's kind of hesitant just to go in there because no, she didn't hit the, the the ward in the bush. Oh, it's another boat. My bad. Maybe I can run away from this. Nah, Jinx is gonna ulti. Oh. Okay, my bad. She thought that would be enough. I mean, where do I should I go? I gotta go for an execute, really, haven't I? <laughs> okay. I think I might try and rove a little bit now. This hacker has been a pain in the ass. <laughs> I didn't type it's 10 seconds out of combat uh, to get execute. Mm, it's a shame the Swain just saw me there. Maybe get a grab here. Minion wave coming in is a little awkward.
Yeah, Swain's missing. Do I want to be here still? Okay, my bad. I thought he was going to take a step forward. Top's got Harold pushed in right now. We kind of need to go up to top straight away here. They're going to get away, I think. The Lari kind of overstayed. Yeah, they just they they. I think Alawi try to like push in a little bit of the the next wave rather than just going back straight away. And then Hecarim didn't need to recall there, so we got kind of lucky that we managed to pick up a couple of kills. Not sure how Caitlyn's been since the start, since the start of my rooming, but I don't think she's missed out on too much. My control ward hasn't been touched. Do we do this again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, she popped ulti. What the hell? What? What? Can you just help me kill this control with my dude? Stacks as Nasus on 207. He's not doing too bad, I guess. It's another dragon up in one minute 13. It will be our third dragon if we get it. Hey, Shoa. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the berry bush. Thank you very much. Got her. She has no flash. Got a hook again in seven seconds. No. Where's the frog? There's no frog. Thirty seconds until Drake. Um, I mean, I kind of want to recall for Woods if we're not going to play for this dragon straight away. Nasus has teleport, but can't just record. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the fact that we recalled from that. Ooh, that's an ally we teleport. Nasus needs to come and help, I guess. Either that or we just give up. I don't, yeah, as I said, I think that recalls the bad. This is now looking terrible for us. Yeah, I agree completely. Like, I only recalled because the Caitlyn had already reset.
If I come top here, I'm not exactly sure if we get anything here on the lobby. I don't have any... Uh, I was just going to say I don't have Grievous Wounds, I do have Ignite. Mm. It's going to say there's no point in me going in, Nasus didn't even pop his ulti, so... This game is starting to slip away a little bit, it feels like. Surprised Valkos didn't just whack down his ulti straight away though. Okay, I was gonna say they got no wards. I don't know why there's a control. Okay, they got moved. Would have been an interesting hook if I did get it. If this Sacrum goes into this bush, we both die, I think. Okay. Yeah, it did really, really well at the start of the laning phase, and it's been a pretty difficult game, honestly, to get. And Lobby actually got the blue buff there. Oh no. Swain's hit. Caitlyn, you need to move over. Jinx is still bomb. Time Seraphine Flash. It's a shame that Valkos didn't land that key, that would have been cool. Can we push for this turret? Wow, my auto attacks do 69 to this turret. <laughs> Wait, what? Noise. Yeah, it's nice that we've got a tier 2 turret. Um, what kind of itemization do we want here? If I go Abyss, that helps prevent the Swain damage, but that's not really the problem. I think we just need Thornmail. We need Grievous Wounds against the Swain and the Hecarim and the Alawi. Okie dokie. Maybe you're struggling because that Seraphine is a Blitzcrank Stomper? Yeah, that's... yeah. That, that'd be it. I forgot that she had that tag. Another dragon up in one minute. Okay, just me being there just means that the uh, vehicle is safe at least. Someone want that? Maybe I just kill this and then recall and get a bramble vest or something. Good Seraphine route. Oh wow, he actually got hit by the key mid though. It's okay. I mean, we're losing top, it looks like, though. Oh, wow, he's now TPing here. Oh, this is not good. This is really, really not good. Should die eventually. There we go. 
As a, yeah, actually, there's a very prolonged death there on the enemy jungler. That's a good Swain W interrupt, though. Do they have enough to, um... Do this? Nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. This doesn't look... This is very risky. One drink away from Ocean Soul. The longer this game goes on though, the harder it's going to be for me to fish out a game winning hook. a few things there, like the trap and stuff. It's always nice to get some chip damage though. Uh oh. Uh, might not be too bad. It's got some wads around in the area. Uh, Caitlyn is really struggling to get into this fight. Okay. As they were all clumped up there, I thought it would be, be fine. I thought we were going to get like Velkoz ulti and everything like that over the top, but I guess in hindsight, Nasus wasn't here and Alavi was, right? Um. So I should have never taken the fight in the first place. We still got Ocean Soul that we can fight over. I'll have to watch that one back and try and understand why the Caitlyn wasn't able to take part properly in that fight though, because I swear they used a crap ton of stuff on me there at the start. So I thought, okay, I'm going to die pretty quickly, but they used a lot there initially onto me. One of my favorite AD carries to play with. Plus anyone that's competent on their champion, really honest, if I'm honest. They're three down mid and one bot. Can we just push in here? Swain's gone top. Nasus is on 500 stacks. Uh oh. I might have to block a Caitlyn ulti here or something. Does Nasus get stacks off those tentacles? He does, huh. Dragon in 20 seconds, I'm not entirely sure we're going to be able to fight around this area or not. I don't like how split up we are. <laughs> no, maybe we can get into this Jinx. Trying to use Fog of War here to so they can't see me. 
I mean, we've killed two. What the hell is this? Why are we doing? We're winning the fight. Got Glacial back up. Damn, have it. Alright, it's Ocean. Okay, good job. I'm not really sure exactly what happened at the very start there for them to lose it as much as they did. But being on that Caitlyn was nice. They had no damage from the back line. She was pretty scared of me. Just me just running at her. She was trying to deal with me. Cool. The yeah, enemy was very, very confused for sure. Okay. I don't want to engage straight away because Caitlyn's not here. She's recalling. Take it a little bit slower this time. Pig is going back for a start watch. And uh, I don't like this. I don't like this for this for this file cause the Hecarim. Would have run all over the Valkaz and he would have been in trouble. Baron in one minute. One minute until Baron. That was Swain, wasn't it? I was trying to work out what ability that was then. Oh, Valkos just died bot side. Can't get out. Masses might be able to kill Jinx here. Mm, this Caitlyn's completely lost. She's just lost. She's got full HP and she's not taking part properly in the fight. I'll go Frozen Heart next. Even though Jinx's KDA isn't the prettiest, she's actually starting to do some damage now. What could we maybe do like a I could potentially do randomins? Randomins might be better. Baron's up now. Velkos has teleport still. It's gonna go for our blue buff, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I think the, the Caitlyn just had a little, little bit more confidence there. I'm pretty sure she would have just taken over in that fight. Especially with the Ocean Song. But it's kind of twice now we've maybe seen her being a bit hesitant to go into the fights. Okay, it's not here. Shouldn't we just do Baron? Like... Oh, 
allow his butt. Got Jinx. Minion, can you get off me, dude? I'll pay Jinx. Give her a lot of credit, though. The team was... I know the whole, my, whole of my team was on Baron there, but... It's a shame we couldn't get onto that Jinx... ...quicker. And the fact that she survives is kind of crazy. I think I'm going to have to do a randomins. Okay, it might actually be in trouble here now. Oh no. Caitlyn messing up big time. Oh no. Oh, that's an Elder Dragon as well. Got it. We gotta respect it. All right, good. Might be okay. All right, that's fine. We got we got Jinx. that my team wants me to do. Hey Gloomius and hey everyone in the chat, I hope you guys are doing alright. Uh, okay, I die here. Uh, Seraphine Flash. <laughs> We're wasting that Elder quite a lot though, it's already on half. The duration now, and two of them don't have it, so... And <laughs> Nasus is still stuck in there, we missed a cannon, you know? <sighs> Alright, two minutes until Baron. We just need to wait out the rest of this Elder Drake. Yeah, Jinx is definitely showing up to the game now. It would be awesome to see this, the, the Nasus doing the same for us. Nearly 800 stacks on him. Yeah, I think we'll do randomings just because I don't think I can get in range to actually. No, nah, we'll do Frozen Heart. <laughs> Get getting range of Jinx to actually reduce her attack speed, but Randuin still has the active aura, doesn't it? Might just, we could maybe just leave it on Warden's Mail, actually. Then go to Nasty Potion. Can anyone hit that? I'm not 100% sure about this next fight. It's going to be a bit of a coin flip, I think. Just try and let Valkos poke. That's going to have to be the main thing here. Oh, no. Got allow me back in. But that might not have been a good idea. Oh, no, it's fine. 
Yeah, it looked bad because I thought heck, Caitlyn was going to get caught out. But the Hecarim didn't do as much damage as I thought he uh, he would do to the Caitlyn. And then grabbing a Lawi in the end there, luckily that Valkoz still had some like W stacks just to blow up the um, the Alawi there at the end. Yeah, I don't know. The, the very start of that game I played pretty well. After that, I think, yeah, the Hecarim, Seraphine and Bait in the Tri-Brush caught me twice. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I generally I feel like I had a pretty good game there overall. Honor the Caitlyn. Definitely one of the more challenging games recently, but a win's a win. I got two honors, so haha, <laughs> Viego, go stick it. Um, yeah, we only need to win two more out of the next four games to get the diamond. Very exciting.